Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is just, it's such an exciting one. It is actually the first of two, I think it's gonna be two videos that I'm going to be doing for decorating my home for Christmas. And I am very excited because this morning we are actually going to be heading to the Flower District, which I have not been to since living in downtown Los Angeles. I used to go like occasionally when I lived in downtown LA. I thought it was so fun to get a new plant every now and then when I lived there. And I wanna get some like fresh florals to incorporate in my design, whether they be like greenery. I also kind of want to see if they have like some garlands, some wreaths, anything fresh, like fresh Christmas finds. Justin's going to be here shortly. And then we're going to head over to the flower mart to get some stuff. And then we're going to be decorating the entire downstairs in this video, which I am super excited about. I have like plans for two Christmas trees, a really insane mantle design, which I hope I could pull off. I'm hoping with some of the flowers I'm able to find or the foliage that I'm able to find, it's going to give it that kind of foraged feel, which is what I'm going for. And then one other quick thing I'm very excited to announce before jumping into this video is that our Black Friday sale should be going live the same day. If it's if this video is going up on Sunday, then um, I'll put it on the screen right here, the live date of our Black Friday sale. It's also going up on Sunday. We are having 25% off site wide, which is the biggest sale we've ever had on LoneFox.com. Like I'm actually kind of scared. I'm going home to help my parents with the sale because every time we have our Black Friday sale, it's just a little bit crazier than um, the workload for three people. So I like to go and help as well. It's 25% off site wide and then 20% off of all vintage. So the vintage is kind of capped at 20, but that includes vintage furniture, vintage decor, artwork, lighting, all the stuff that I source and find that is on the website is going to be 20% off. And then everything else outside of vintage will be 25% off. So definitely browse. It's a perfect time to shop for a holiday because I'm going to be using a bunch of the Christmas decor in this video anyway. Anyways, it's our biggest sale and orders over 99 domestically also ship for free so it's just all around like probably the best discount we'll be offering ever <laughs> and Winston's over here panting I don't know if anyone else's dog does this but he'll go to the bathroom outside and then dart as fast as he can inside through the doggy door and run like zoomies down the hall as fast as he can and he just did that right before I filmed this intro let's head to the flower district and jump on into this decorating video I kind of want to incorporate some fresh florals and some greenery into my mantle decor and maybe even Christmas tree as well. So I just want to see what's available. I'm going to bring you guys along with me and we can see what there is. My eyes out for dried amaranthus and also this like really wispy, almost fern-like plant. Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh. Look at these holly branches. Oh. And then over here, right here. It. that's it. That is what we're looking for. Yep. Oh, look how pretty these are. This little shop here is stunning. Look what they have back here for Christmas. Look all these wreaths and stuff, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good back here. Look how beautiful these are. Wow. It is crazy to me that there is this many like beautiful different flowers in the world. Like, are you kidding? Garland there is so pretty. Actually, I don't know if you can see at the top, this little popped out little area. That's kind of what I want to do with the little sprigs. These are silver eucalyptus pods, but look how pretty those are. I think these would be nice in the garland or on the mantle as well. I want to just like mix in some freshness with the faux garlands that I have. So beautiful. Look at this that I got. I don't know how much it is. Look how cold it is. Can you see my breath? That's the same thing. No, no, it's not. This is different. Oh, that's a no. That's just a big one of it. That's pretty. This is what we want, though. Some of these look like little pine needles. They look like miniature little pines. I think it's like a type of fern. I'll pop the proper name for you guys, but so good. And I want to put this in my mantle and just kind of like even just clustered like this. It's just so like wispy. Thank you. 
For today for decorating, I am going for a comfy aesthetic, so please don't judge the look. If you literally need any holiday greenery, anything like that, this is absolutely not sponsored, but they were so helpful and it was called Milano and I'll put it on the screen right here in the address for you. They have a huge selection from what you guys saw and it was just so easy. We were like in and out. We are going to be decorating the mantle. The thing I love about the downstairs mantle is it actually has a mantle, whereas the upstairs one doesn't. Wow, thanks, Birch. Yeah, we'll wire these branches together as our base. I got a pack of these magnolia branches, which came with about five large branches, but I wired them together to make one large branch because I knew I wanted one really large kind of foundational branch for this fireplace that I could build off of. And so that's what I created. Oh wait, that actually kind of looks good. I think it's interesting. Yeah, I kind of like it actually. We are almost ready to mount our branch to the fireplace. And as you can see, it's really, really long, but that's the dramatic effect I was going for. And in order to mount this, I actually just used some small little picture hanging nails and I just hammered them right into the fireplace because the plaster is super, super strong holding. Like one nail, I bet you would hold up this entire thing. I added about three of them and I can fix it super easy. It takes me like 10 minutes to do a quick little um, cover on it. All right, we have our structure. It's basically just a cluster of magnolia branches wired together. What were you, Justin? Victorian birch? I, I thought she said Victorian pussy birch. <laughs> 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 Justin says these are Victorian pussy birch. <laughs> but I think they're like Victorian, they're either Victorian pussy willow or Victorian pussy birch. <laughs> she, ca she called them a few different things. Wait, it's probably a Look. Ooh, that did a beautiful job of hiding that wiring. I have no idea, you guys, what I'm doing here, so we'll see what happens. To start filling out the mantle, I grabbed a couple of faux garlands and I'm gonna mix together the faux garlands with the real garlands and real accents that I got from the flower mart. So I also mixed in some of these blueberry strands, which I got last year, or I think two years back actually from Anthropology and Terrain. And then this was just a extra light strand that I had that I wanted to add in. It's really nice because my fireplace mantle, that little arch in the center there actually has a plug in the middle. So I was able to just plug it right in. And then here I am going in with the asparagus firm. This is really what's going to like add so much intensity and fullness to our mantle. Okay, eucalyptuses, little eucalyptus. I got really excited as the mantle started to get fuller and I just kept adding to it because I feel like for this like foraged Christmas, just very controlled chaos sort of vibe that I'm going for, the less is more rule just doesn't really apply. So I did go ahead and add a bunch of pine branches also to the basket on the left side because I wanted the left side basket to kind of act as like a firewood basket and almost like this tree just growing up out of it and it trailed its way up the fireplace. And I did add some red ribbon to this, which really transformed the entire look and really made it so so beautiful. The sun is setting and I want to get the tree up. I have like a little tree collar here and I love taking these actually and inverting them. So they normally always are like this shape. I flip them like this so that way when you put your tree in it, it kind of looks like it's in a basket, which I think looks a little cuter. It goes together so quick too, which is really nice. My Christmas tree here is from Terrain, and I got this a few years back. It is the Norway spruce, the pre-lit Norway spruce. I'll link it below for you. I think they still have it. And for the decor on the Christmas tree, I actually ended up wanting to do this at night just for those authentic Christmassy vibes. I really hadn't thought about what I wanted to do until like an hour before decorating the tree. And I just kind of thought in my head, like, let's just do a classic Christmas, like a deep and moody, classic dark red, dark green kind of color palette. I think it's just, I mean, quintessentially Christmas, of course, but I also just love the way that it looks. And I feel like sometimes I go a little bit too astray with my color palettes during Christmas. And I'm like, I just need that classic touch again. Here I am actually just adding some Mardi Gras beads. I got these on Amazon. I'll link them for you guys. I actually saw a girl's post. I'll pop it up here. Her name is Marin Baxter. It came up on my Instagram and I just love how she draped these beads in her tree. So I figured these were something that she used and I got some too on Amazon. I also picked up these red ornaments on Amazon as well, which are 
are flocked and they are such a deep red tone. They're so beautiful. They come in a bunch of different sizes and colors. They almost resemble like a velvet, but they're kind of more of a flocked style. I also picked through my ornament stash and found anything that was red or dark green or kind of like an ambery shade that would just add some warmth to the tree. And then I got these bows from West Elm, two packs of them in this green velvet. I think that they're so great. They actually have a clip on the back of them, so they're super easy to reuse. So I'll definitely be reusing these next year, but I just clipped them on a bunch of the branches and I thought they added a really classic, very kind of like Ralph Lauren Christmas touch to this tree. And it was exactly the color that it needed because the tree itself is kind of like a lighter shade of green for a Christmas tree. So I like the dark emerald touch, just kind of contrasting with the lighter green. And my last finishing touch was just a little bit of tinsel. I just kind of popped this around the tree just for some extra shimmer. And I also love the kind of contrast of silver and gold on a Christmas tree. So I thought these mesh nicely with those gold ornaments. I can't tell if I've gone too crazy or not, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of love it though. It's kind of fun. It's like definitely crazy, but in like a fun Christmas crazy kind of way. We have the mantle completed, we have the Christmas tree and our little festive accents over here. And I want to do our shop tree. I like to call it the shop tree because it's, I like to have more than one tree because I have a bunch of ornaments and I have a bunch of different looks I like for Christmas. So I'm gonna be doing two trees over in the corner and I wanna share with you guys a bunch of the new items from the shops. I just pulled out a bunch of my favorites from the new holiday collection on the website. I wanna use a bunch of these novelty ornaments in the tree over in the corner. So I thought I'd give you guys just a little look at a bunch of these which are available over on the shop. I love the banana. These are all glass ornaments, by the way. We have this little palette. Um, how cute. Charcuterie board and avocado toast. We have an ice cream sandwich. This is probably one of my favorites of the glass ornaments, this bird one with the bow. It's just so pretty. And then we have this Pop-Tart. I think it's called toaster pastry, actually. And then these little clams here. I love the rusted flowers. We have a bunch of different stockings, more than these two. I just love these and thought I might want to use them. And then these are one of my favorite items that we got this year. I think they are so cool. They're like a hammered glass Christmas tree. If you place these in a window or somewhere that you get really nice sunlight, these would be so beautiful. So that's the plan for those. I have a few of these other little Christmassy items. These are actually like a tollware metal flower, which is super cool. Some little felt Christmas trees over here with stitching on them. This right here is a ceramic mushroom tray, which I mean, I don't even know what else to say about that. It is so cute. The color on the top, the red is great. Same with this. It's like a little bar wear um, shaker and this I love 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 the color of the red enamel this can totally live past Christmas too I just think it's so such a striking red tone marble trees I love this fluted vase here Christmas tree taper candles these also come in green and then all of these stunning wrapping papers you get three sheets per roll but the sheets are actually pretty large so it's more like one um, gift you can probably wrap or two smaller ones per sheet even if you were to get these and wrap them for like decor if you were to wrap them and put them on a bookshelf and have like stacked gifts on a bookshelf. It'd be such a great way to have some additional print and color in your home. I'm trying to get through this quicker, but I do want to share everything because it is just so fun finding all of these different items when I go to market each year. And then we do a whole photo shoot of them, list them on the website. And Christmas over on Lone Fox is not only like my favorite time of the year, but it's also my family's favorite time of year. It is a full family run business. My mom, my aunt, and my dad all work for LoneFox.com. So your guys' orders are literally shipped by my family, which is really fun. And I love keeping it like that because first of all, running a business is very expensive when you have to have it done by other people or you know you have to have it like, what's that called, Justin? Yeah, drop shipped or fulfillment or whatever that is. So everything that you guys see on my site is actually stocked in our warehouse in Arizona and shipped by my parents and delivered to your doorstep, which is really great. And we have so much Christmas. It's just our favorite time of year because we get so much holiday items and I love decorating for Christmas. So I've been doing it on the site for a couple years now. This Christmas is definitely the biggest of all. So definitely take a look if you are still browsing for Christmas. I know it's kind of early on still, but if you do want to pick up some things, definitely do so. I'll link it below for you, but that is everything. But if you do want to know where stuff from is in this video, I did want to kind of give you a rundown because I'm going to be using a bunch of the stuff from 
from the store. We're gonna fix this too. This is actually going upstairs. I'm gonna put the taller Christmas tree upstairs and we're gonna do two smaller trees here. And the two smaller trees are gonna have a bunch of the shop ornaments on there. Probably gonna add some garlands too. Just make them really cute and fun. But the other day I was on TikTok and I found this video from this girl. Um, her name is Obsessed With That. And she showed how she basically bought this tool, Lightkeeper Pro, which I'll link it for you guys below. Um, I ordered it last night on Amazon and they had like the overnight option. So I got it this morning and I was reading the comments. People don't even know how this thing works. So we're going to see if it works because we haven't been able to fix this. We spent like 30 minutes the other day trying to figure out if one of the bulbs. Oh, this is just where you put the extra light bulbs. Oh, that's nice that it has extra lights because oh, we don't because we don't have any extra lights. How does this thing work? It's like encrusted in snow. Got it. <laughs> and then you're supposed to plug it in to this thing somehow. And click it. Like 30 times or something. I don't, this is, there's no way this is gonna work. Maybe we should read the instructions. Come on, girl. I'm trying to resuscitate her. <laughs> Giving her CPR. And that took one. What are you doing? Trying to figure this out. Are you reading the instructions? The CPR isn't working. These are so cute. I've only put these out once before, I think. I don't think I did them last year, but I did them the year before in my apartment in the dining room. And I love these. I just need to find something to cover the base. You could just do like a blanket if you want to, or, oh, maybe I'll do presents actually, like a couple of stacked presents. I bought a lot of present wrapping supplies because I want to do a few different present looks this year um, for Instagram and to share with you guys, of course. And so maybe I can do those and then put them around these trees. So I recently found these two vintage sconces on Etsy. And I believe these actually used to be wired because it looks like there's a hole in the bottom here. It has like all the clips, but now they are converted into candle sconces and I have two of them. So I thought I would put them on either side of the Christmas tree window. During Christmas time, we basically never close these curtains. So I pulled them over and I thought I would just do a small nail on the wall here and add the sconce on this side here and then also over on this side. And I love this swirl design. It's kind of almost Christmassy, but at the same time, um, definitely a year-round Italian vintage sconce. green candlesticks to the candle sconces and I loved the way that those looked and those are not intended to be used by the way like they're not gonna light those um curtains on fire it's just more so for decorative purposes and then I added all my little novelty ornaments over to these Christmas trees and I was kind of iffy on if I was going to like this in the end I wasn't sure if it was gonna feel too cutesy but I absolutely loved how this turned out like it just feels very nostalgic and just really fun and I love all the glass ornaments they have such beautiful details and the colors against these um, kind of flocked trees also are really nice. So I love how these turned out in the corner. Oh, 
And here I am adding the finishing touches to this room. I am so excited to share with you guys how this space turned out. This is definitely the most festive room in the entire home. And I'm not going to be doing this much to every room upstairs. But when I share with you guys that makeover too, I think you are going to absolutely love it. So let me reveal this space to you in three, two, one. Oh. 